What's up YouTube? Today I'm putting an alternator on a Toyota 4Runner and first we'll give you a little glimpse of, of what uh, process I went through to determine uh, that the alternator was bad. If you look here I've got a fault no meter. It also does tack and dwell um, but you want to set it on voltage um, I got it set on 200 you can go 20 is the lowest uh, and basically what you want to do is you turn it on and I've got my alligator clip on there I'm going ahead and connect it to the negative terminal of the battery and then we got our positive there it's showing us our um, positive there our battery has 12.37 volts which is a little low so now we'll start the vehicle we started the vehicle now it's running to get the motor going and we'll put this back on there Twelve point three volts. So that's down. Tell me that there's an issue. We go down here. Now it's down even more. We're back over there after running the vehicle for a couple of minutes. That tells me that the alternator is bad. The target output for an alternator is 14.4 volts. That is the industry standard on what an alternator should be producing when an engine is running and if the battery is fully charged and basically brand new it'll be at 13.5 volts so the battery at 12 and some change is actually low yes I know it is a 12 volt battery but the industry standard is 13.5 uh, volts um, is an acceptable uh, charge on a battery anything lower than that obviously there's an issue somewhere be it a draw on the system or a bad alternator not charging um, and basically you drive the vehicle till it runs out of battery the vehicle dies and then the next thing you know you're calling tow truck but not all vehicles are equipped with a voltage gauge so you generally don't know whether or not your uh, vehicle is doing what it's supposed to or not they do have a light on the dash that uh, some vehicles go off of the battery condition and the battery gets below a certain voltage then it'll trigger the light on the dash um, and tell you that there's an issue with your battery it's generally a battery light um, you'll come up with a little picture of a battery you know with a lightning bolt in the middle of it and it'll light up red and that's telling you that there's a problem with your battery or your charging system and the customer complaint on this vehicle was exactly that, that the charge light come on. He was in Kansas City, he bought a battery and made it back here and um, then brought me the vehicle and told me that there was an issue with it because the battery obviously died again, so the problem wasn't the battery. So as you've seen in this video here, I diagnosed that the alternator is bad. So we'll get an alternator here and get it replaced. So we now have the alternator and it's here. So we'll go ahead and start the process of uh, switching it out. Now we're gonna take this battery since it's a little low in our testing and we're gonna hook it up to the battery charger and let it charge for a little while while I replace the alternator.
So, now we've completed the installation of the alternator. You can see down there in the hole, nice, bright, shiny new alternator. We're going to go on ahead and verify that it's charging now. There we are, charging like a big dog. Yep, that'll be the end of that. Charging issue is fixed. If you like my attitude, click like and subscribe. Ring the bell and get notifications. Have fun.